Howdy YouTube, welcome to another Tool Tech Tips video. I'm PPC's Matt, and today we are going to check out some silicone bending inserts. The reason why I'm going to check these out with you guys is because it is a somewhat debated topic uh, as to whether or not how well your silicone insert should fit in your tubing. I've got a little bit to say about it, so let's just jump on in. So as I mentioned, people have always been debating whether or not you want your silicone insert to fit really nice and snug, uh, such as that, or if it should be on the other end and be somewhat loose and free fitting. My opinion on the matter is that it should be more loose than tight is what I would like to say at least. So, with your tighter fitting silicone insert, as you can tell, this one technically doesn't even fit in here. I believe this is uh, like half inch and this is technically 12 millimeters. We can measure it here in a moment. However, you can even have the middle ground here, which does, this one is still decently loose, but it actually fits, you know, right with the tubing walls. And a lot of people are afraid that if they have an insert like this that is too loose, that it will actually collapse the tubing around it, which actually rarely ever happens. I do have to mention that if you are getting some like stretched bends where it, the tubing does actually get thinner and then thicker around the bend area, I would recommend trying to heat up a larger area of the tubing. This usually happens because the tubing isn't heated up enough and you've only heated up a little bit. So the tubing is te technically stretching where it hasn't been heated thoroughly enough. So the reason why I recommend against using a really tight fitting insert is the fact that the more bends you get into it, you know, two or three or more, you will uh, start to get your silicone insert stuck in your tubing. It gets to the point where it's actually impossible to remove without cutting the tubing off around it. So just to avoid that, uh, you can try to use something like Primo Chill System Soap here. You can obviously get that at PPCs. Uh, however, something just like water usually won't work. I personally just recommend using a smaller insert. It's far easier. I never actually have the tubing collapse around it. And uh, I never have the insert get stuck either. So I'll put my money where my mouth is. We're going to measure these, do a couple bends and you'll just have to see for yourself. I'm gonna start with a single 90 degree bend just for the sake of science to prove that this insert is able to be removed from the tubing even with at least one bend. However, we'll see once we get further along. So, here goes test number one. Got it. So, this insert does work fine for at least one singular 90 degree bend. Moving on, test number two. We're gonna put two bends in this bad boy. Hang tight. So here's test number two, two bends with the 11.25 thickness uh, silicone insert, 11.5 millimeter tubing. I suspect uh, that's what I was afraid of. So I mean, maybe if you have some kind of Hulk Hogan strength or something, but yeah, boys and girls, obviously, as I disclaimed in the beginning, if I had used some uh, system soap, I probably could have gotten away with two bends here. However, I'd still imagine that even if you got up to three bends, uh, the system soap or any other lubricant might start to struggle too. It really is a lot of resistance and it takes a lot of force to overcome that resistance to get your insert through the tubing. Perhaps if you had larger diameter tubing, this guy would be just fine, whereas this insert here, which is you know, close to 12 millimeters might start to struggle as well. So let's continue testing, but I've already got a lot of work on my hands to get this guy out. Let's move on to the smaller insert. 
So we're once again going to go in dry. I'm not doing any uh, tomfoolery here with you. There's no uh, system soap or anything else on this insert, not even water. So since our previous insert failed at two, that's where we're going to start. Let's get to bending. Here goes the first test with a smaller insert. Remember this guy is about 10.6 or 10.7 millimeters. Tubing is 11.5. Uh, here's two bends. It was definitely a lot tougher than I usually like it to be. However, it still came out. This insert unharmed, maybe slightly stretched. However, we're good to go. There you have it folks. Proof is in the pudding. So, as I mentioned, these all measured slightly differently. Uh, I'm not even aware of what brands these are anymore. However, I am going to link below where you can find silicon inserts at PPCs. This happened to be uh, some Singularity Computers acrylic tubing that uh, we or they no longer produce. So, uh, we can't actually offer you that. However, I will link tubing below as well. Overall, I've always found that uh, the smaller, thinner insert works a lot better. At least easier once you get into multiple bends and whatnot. You guys are always doing one. Maybe sticking to a thicker one is better. Let me know in the comments though what you guys like to use. What's your preference? What other bending tips you want to see? Either way, I hope you all have a great day. Happy water cooling.